I've been trying to unlock the Red Hair Mount in Dynasty Warriors 6, and as of today I'm now finally a considerably proud owner of a horse with a heavenly physique. After sinking weeks into this grind, I'm certain that this is by far the worst grind for anything in a Warriors game I've encountered so far, and that is only because of one major issue. Rather than requiring a specific task or mission to unlock Red Hair, the way to unlock Red Hair is 100% based on luck. But anyway, let's go over the basics together on how to unlock Lu Bu's famous horse in Dynasty Warriors 6. In a way, it's really simple. All you need to do is just play the game, and if you're lucky, you'll randomly get him from picking up a horse saddle in a battle. Or if you already have a horse with the Fine Saddle ability, you'll earn an additional horse in your post-battle report. It's also important to note that none of the horses in this game are actually called Red Hair. The mounts are all randomly generated by the looks of it, so they'll all have random names. In this case, my horse's name is Black Dream. However, as you can see, his title is Red Hair King. This is Dynasty Warrior 6's equivalent of actually having the Red Hair mount. I believe there are six different horse types in the game that can have the word King in their title, and they each represent famous mounts from the Dynasty Warrior series. These horses will all share the same description which says, his eyes consider the world, and he has a heavenly physique. Once you've unlocked one of these horses with this description, if you get them leveled up to five, their title should change from trained horse to something king. The very last thing to note about unlocking red hair king is that the horse needs to actually be a red horse. If you unlock a black horse with the consider the world and heavenly physique description, once you've trained the horse up to max level, its title would become Ebon King. So it's absolutely important that you unlock a red horse that also has the consider the world and heavenly physique description. With all of that out of the way, what is the best way to unlock the red hair king? After scouring through YouTube, Reddit, and online forums, the general consensus is that you can increase your odds of unlocking this mount by playing a stage with a character with the Lady Luck ability. These characters are Liu Bei, Guan Ping, Yuan Shao, Xu Zhu, Zhen Ji, and Xiao Chao. This ability increases your chances of finding better weapons and mounts on the battlefield. It also helps if you already have a mount with the Fine Saddle ability, which means you will always get a bonus horse after every stage you complete. On top of playing as a character with Lady Luck, you can also try to increase your odds by playing with a second controller and having the second controller also playing as a character with the Lady Luck ability. So for the best odds, have two characters with the Lady Luck ability equipped, both with horses that also have the Fine Saddle ability. Lastly, every stage has a crate that you can smash open to find a horse saddle too. A common farming method for the Red Hair King mount is playing the Guan Du stage as the Wei Forces, as you can complete it within just a couple of minutes, and the horse saddle crate is in a convenient location. If unlocking Red Hair is your priority, then I'd definitely recommend grinding this out on the Guan Du map, but honestly, this all still just comes down to luck. To put it into perspective, I probably spent a good 5 hours just grinding this stage with Liu Bei with no luck. Then I decided to buy another Xbox 360 controller online so I could try the 2 player method. Once that arrived, I probably sunk another 5 to 6 hours into the grind with no luck. Eventually I kept trying the stage with Liu Bei with other random characters I just wanted to level up in general equipped on the second controller. While grinding stages this way, I fully leveled up Zhou Yu, Diao Chan, Yuan Shao, Xia Hu Dun, and then got Xiao Chao to about halfway before giving up. Not gonna lie, it was a pretty disheartening grind, especially after seeing some people online say they managed to get the Red Hair King mount after like 10 or even 50 attempts. But either way, I pushed forward with leveling up characters that have stories from my longer form Dynasty Warriors 6 series, and this morning, I nearly fell out of my chair. I was getting Zhang Liao to level 50 on the Battle of Heifei Castle stage. I didn't have a mount with the Fine Saddle ability and Zhang Liao definitely doesn't have the Lady Luck ability. Now that I've got the right horse with the right description, there's only one more thing we need to do. As mentioned earlier, our horse will get the Red Hair King title once he's trained to level 5. But if you want the best stats on your horse, I strongly suggest equipping a character with the Horsemanship ability while trying to level up your horse. The characters with the Horsemanship ability are Guan Yu, Ma Chao, Lu Bu, Xia Ho Dun, Zhang Liao, Sun Jian, and Sun Quan. I personally equipped Lu Bu and quickly ran through the Guan Du stage again multiple times as it was the quickest stage to beat. And after about 5 battles later, I'm finally a proud owner of the Red Hair Mount in Dynasty Warriors 6. Also as a side note, look how insanely massive this horse is compared to standard characters. 
Anyway, I really hope this video was helpful with explaining how to unlock red hair. I still think it's really weird how weapons and mounts were handled in this game, but at least red hair was still in this game to some degree. I wish you all good luck on your red hair grinds, and I'd love to hear how many attempts it took you to unlock this considerably heavenly horse down below in the comments. Thanks for watching everybody.